a look at some of our programming 60 years ago because today is XCTV's 60th anniversary. That's why we're kind of dressing the part today. Uh, meanwhile, spring inspires many homeowners to refresh and remodel. And the room most people like to start with is the kitchen. Joining us today is renowned designer Elaine Griffin. Elaine, thanks for joining us. Hello, it's great to be here. Yeah, you've written several books on professional design rules. What are some of those professional secrets you can give our viewers at home today? Okay, it's spring and we're really thinking about kitchen now because, you know, the kitchen's always been the heart of a home, but now it needs to be style central too. Especially if you have an open plan layout, you can really see the kitchen almost the minute you walk through the front door. That means that it needs to have both form and function, pretty and practicality. So this spring, we're refreshing our kitchens with an eye for adding tons of style and efficiency. Okay, perfect. Uh, when it comes to appliances, how important is it to match the uh, kitchen appliances together? I am glad you asked because the kitchen is the one room of the house where matching isn't an option. It's a requirement. You want everything to look really great together. And, you know, it's easy to do that now with sweet designed appliances. Electrolux has some fantastic options. Um, and they're all designed to go together. It's, you know, the cooktop goes with the refrigerator that goes with the dishwasher. So even if you are, you know, on a budget and you don't want to buy them all at the same time, you have a plan, you know, they're going to look great together. Okay, what about um, some design rules that we should all know for kitchens? You know, especially someone who's okay. never done a design before or never done a redesign, what should we all know? Here's where you, you know, here's where you start. Obviously, you have your cabinets, you know, and your countertops, but you want to pay attention to the work triangle. That's the triangle between the refrigerator, the cooktop, and the sink, and it's the most traveled real estate in your kitchen. You want it to be a small footprint. You want to think about all of the elements in that work triangle and keep them as fresh as, you know, and modern as you can with fun features like for this fridge, for example. Um, it's a fridge door fridge with a bottom mount freezer that gives you a ton of space. And then you want to look for snappy features that, you know, make life better, like a perfect temp drawer that, you know, keeps everything at the exact dial it in temperature. Um, new now for kitchens, you want a recessed, a built in look. So we're going to get a counter depth fridge and then build it in, just cut a recess on the wall, build it in so it's one sleek look, the whole plane of your wall. Um, think about things that multitask. We're all multitasking marvels, now our appliances are too. Um, things like induction cooktops. I love them because, you know, they're super efficient, they give you, you know, professional quality, top chef results. But they also double as brilliant work surfaces when you're not using them. You want everything to really work and add your personality. You know, when you're thinking about finished colors, when you're thinking about maybe a new countertop, what makes you think? What looks like you? Your backsplash, for example, you know, it's 15 to 20 inches tall um, and a great opportunity for, to style it up. So whether you're continuing the tile, the same marble like we did here, or you want like a blinged out black splash to go with your handbag, you really want a lot. You want to show your backsplash some love. Okay, what about lighting for a kitchen? I know that can be really important. You want to be able to see what you're cooking? Yes. You want to chop those vegetables and see what's what. People think of lighting as an afterthought. It shouldn't be. You want lighting for each zone over the island where you're going to snack, etc. And you want to, trade secret, put it all on different switches mm. and put each switch on a dimmer. Good idea. So you can turn them all on, just one on. There you go. Okay, and you know, redoing your kitchen is actually a very good investment. And why is that? You know, whether you're redoing it to resell or just, you know, for your own personal pleasure, mm -hmm. it's, kitchens are always the best investment. Um, we spend so much time in them and estimated three to five years of our lives are passed in the kitchen. Wow. Look to what's going on in neighboring houses, location, 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 if you're planning on, you know, if you're remodeling to resell. Okay. So look, you know, whatever other people are doing. And, but if you're doing it just for your own personal pleasure, knock yourself out. And real quick, where can we go for more information? Got a ton of great creative ideas for you at facebook.com forward slash electrolux and also at electroluxappliances.com. Great. Thanks so much for joining us today. It's good to see you. Th thank you. We'll see you next time.